All right, so we talked about this. Obviously, another round of storms moving through the Piedmont that was overnight and into the morning. Severe weather, you know, it's just as bad for the wildlife as it is for us. One lady discovered this firsthand and is now trying to help and rescue a baby hawk, of all things. Take a look. You guys may remember this little guy, Buck, from a couple of weeks ago when a Summerfield family found this little bird blown out of his nest after the storms and they nursed him back to health. By the way, they did release him and he is fine. So guess what? The same thing happened again, but with a different bird and a different person. We're joined by Gray today. And Gray, you, you uh, tell us the story and what you have in that little box with you there. Okay, so yesterday my daughter came in and said, Mommy, you have to come outside and look at this bird. And I went out there and what I saw was actually what appeared to be a, a ball of fluff on, on the ground. And I looked at it and looked up and realized that about 40 feet above me was a red tail hawk's nest. And this little baby had fallen through a hole in the nest wow. and the parents were up there trying to fix the nest. The raptor folks that I have been speaking with have strongly encouraged me to put the bird back in its nest. So in the meantime, can you, because the, the story that we ran the other day of the same thing, storms blew a bird out of the nest, they fed him and kind of nursed him back, but you said with this type of bird you can't do that. Right, I was instructed to create a little nest and to put some kind of a small stuffed animal in it so that it, the bird would have a friend, so oh. to speak. And then basically keep him warm and check him every two hours. I was told not to feed it or give it water because this type of bird might aspirate on water okay. especially. Well, Gray, best of luck. I hope we can help in some way and keep us updated. Let us know what happens eventually. So I am happy to report, and we did not have time to get the video edited and posted, but she sent me, uh, she texted me some videos. Um, she called around, tried to get some help because that's like four stories above her, right? That nest. She finally got a uh, landscaping company, like a tree service, Compton, I believe was the name of the company, to come in and do it. They got the bird back in the nest, and it looks like, at least for now, everything's good. Thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. Chilton, how do you find these stories? <laughs> this one was handed to me on a platter, but I tell you, it's, it's, it had a great ending. I didn't know what was going to happen because I thought the mother wouldn't take the baby bird back. But she said in this type of, I guess it's like a, a raptor type bird with a hawk. She said it's different. They will take them back. Right. That was that was my concern, Eric, because my sister who lives in Texas, they've been having, I don't call them problems, but they've been seeing regular occurrences of baby birds appearing in their yard. You know, it's that time of the year mm -hmm. and when they fall out of the nest, they're worried about touching them, especially without gloves on because the mom we've heard rejects them, but not in this case. Yeah, not in this case. That's what she said, and I'm so happy to hear that. So we'll keep posting. I'll have her just text me every now and again and make sure he's doing OK, but it's a cool story. Such a cute little bird and the stuffed animal, it's over the top. So cute. <laughs>